Welcome to GIS Resources. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, and exploring why the L5 frequency is a game changer for satellite-based navigation when L1 and L2 frequency bands are already there. Stay with us to learn why and how this L5 frequency is shaping the future of navigation and positioning systems. The L5 frequency represents a major leap forward in global navigation satellite systems. This advanced signal is revolutionizing precision positioning across various industries. But what exactly is the L5 frequency, and why is it so important? The L5 frequency was developed as part of the modernization efforts of the Global Positioning System by the United States Department of Defense. Today, it is also supported by international GNSS systems such as Galileo in Europe, Beidou in China, and IRNSS in India. These organizations have been working collaboratively to enhance the capabilities and accuracy of GNSS. The primary beneficiaries of the L5 frequency are industries that require high precision navigation, such as aviation, maritime, and surveying. Airlines rely on the L5 frequency for more accurate flight paths and landing approaches, while maritime vessels use it for safer and more reliable navigation. So what exactly is the L5 frequency? L5 operating at 1,176.45 megahertz with a wavelength of 25.48 centimeters. L5 is one of the three primary frequencies used by GNSS for signal transmission. The L5 frequency is designed to provide higher accuracy and better signal quality compared to the older L1 and L2 frequencies. It includes advanced features such as a wider bandwidth and improved error correction. The L5 frequency shared by IRNSS, GPS, Galileo, and QZSS is comparable to other L5 E5A signals for positioning and navigation. What sets the L5 frequency apart from other GNSS frequencies? It operates at a higher power level and provides better resistance to interference and multipath effects, which are common issues in urban environments. Its wider bandwidth allows for more detailed information to be transmitted, resulting in higher precision in positioning. When was the L5 frequency introduced? The development of the L5 frequency began in the early 2000s, with the first operational signals transmitted in 2010 by the GPS IIF satellites. Currently, the L5 frequency is available, but not yet fully operational globally. Efforts are ongoing to ensure all GNSS systems support L5, with full operational capability expected within the next few years as more satellites and ground systems are upgraded. Why the L5 frequency introduced? The introduction of the L5 frequency addresses the growing demand for higher precision and reliability in GNSS. Traditional frequencies like L1 and L2 face challenges with interference and multipath effects, especially in dense urban environments. L5 operates in a frequency band reserved exclusively for aviation safety services, minimizing the risk of interference from other radio traffic. With the third frequency, L5 enables triple frequency combinations, improving PPP convergence time and precision of the estimated parameters by about 10%, making it suitable for critical applications and increasing reliability and redundancy in precise point positioning. L5 E5A B2A signals from GPS, IRNSS, QZSS, Galileo, and Beidou 3 satellites provide higher positioning accuracies and better integer ambiguity resolution compared to L1 E1 B1 signals. Key features of L5 frequency, strong signal transmission for faster location acquisition, and better coverage in dense urban environments, a protected and strong resistance band to minimize jamming and spoofing, wide bandwidth for outstanding accuracy, and support from over 70 satellites for dependable signal availability. L5 helps solve ambiguity more quickly and eliminates effects of ionosphere and troposphere, thus improving time to first fix ambiguities and positioning accuracy. Modern GNSS receivers are being designed to be compatible with the L5 frequency. Many new devices already support L5, and firmware updates are being released for existing equipment to ensure they can take advantage of the improved performance offered by L5 signals. In conclusion, the L5 frequency represents a significant advancement in GNSS technology, offering higher precision, better reliability, 
and reduced interference. As it becomes more widely adopted, we can expect to see substantial improvements in various applications that depend on accurate positioning, from aviation and maritime navigation to emerging technologies like autonomous vehicles and drones. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out our other videos on GNSS advancements and innovations. Thanks for watching.